So I was in the process of editing my next Rimmel video and I got bored and went on the League of Legends Reddit where I found this thread from eight days ago and I'm pretty sure I covered this topic in the past, like almost verbatim. Is League becoming a game you watch, not play? League is fun to watch, not to play. And this was June 29th, I guess it was almost two months ago. People forgot about this thread, I guess. And it resurfaced under a slightly different title. This guy says he detests playing League with all the unfun and 200 years champs. What does that even mean? But I do watch it all the time. Not LCS, other streamers that I like. I think solo queue is not the worst right now, but close. I would need a ban like 30 champs to have fun playing the game. This guy must be like a Nasus main or something. In today's video, I'm gonna do a little mini tutorial on how to actually have fun in this game in 2020. So first of all, you're gonna transfer your account off of the North American server and transfer to LAN. I'm actually pretty close to West Coast. I live in Nevada. I found out I get about 70 ping to the LAN server, which is pretty close to what I get to the NA server. Why they don't have multiple NA servers is a complete mystery to me. It makes no sense really. <laughs> okay, we're already getting the Disco Janet gameplay. This is what I like actually. I like people that just really don't care that much. This guy's probably a complete chat IRL. Like, he just does not care about what these people think. And okay, we got to dodge. I keep as support, by the way, because I really want to play Teemo support, but like I see the entire lineup for both teams and I feel like Shen would be really good here, mainly because we have a Jinx ADC and I feel like that needs protection. Versus the Nautilus is just going to walk forward and ult the Jinx whenever they're six. And by the way, I went grasp. I don't think you would grasp on support Shen, but whatever. This account, by the way, is in mid plat and I did a little hypothetical warm up game where I went TP smite and I got like three man, four man ganked the entire game. I also don't know which item to go. This one gives attack damage. This one gives AP. I think you want the attack damage on Shen. But yeah, bear in mind I'm not a support main and I think getting Q at the start is good for the leash. And my plans with this account and the reason why I transferred it to the LAN server is I want to see how easy it is to get banned for a complete nonsense on the server. I'm going to be doing kind of like a test type of thing. Oh, crap, I didn't target on that. I'm not sure how we want to play this. Like, do we push up? I really don't know. I'm going to protect the Jinx from the Nod, I guess. They know how to play this lane probably better than I do. I just really want to play Teemo support this game, but I really do want to win also, and I feel like this would have been better to play to actually win the game. Like, I'll run Teemo into this if I have to, but... It's good. Oh no, that's really bad. I should have blocked that. Why does this guy not flash away? I'm so confused. The Nautilus just sat there and tanked, like he was not aware of his HP or something. But yeah, I don't know if Jinx getting hooked there was my fault or if that was Jinx's fault. Like I could have positioned between the Jinx and the Nautilus better, I guess. We can fight this, I think. They're gonna try to stop her back. It's definitely like level two. This could be bad actually. He's gonna have his hook soon. He's in the tower. I have to W. Oh. Okay, we live. Nice. But yeah, when we fought that fight earlier, they got a plating and then we return push, and then we got a plating now. He almost could get two. Ah. He's coming probably. Nice up. I feel like I messed up there, like I didn't Q on top of myself or I wasn't aware where the Q was. Let go on this guy. Easy. I see how freaking young Reezy climbs, dude. This champ's so easy. Getting another plating for us. Um, this might actually be two platings. Philios is dead. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna be freaking fed on this next fight. And yep, we pushed out so nicely. This is actually an interesting game, by the way. Our Malphite zero freaking five against a Yasuo. I don't know how you lose to Yasuo's Malphite. That's the easiest lane ever. Oh, this guy dropped a pink in here. What? Interesting pink. But yeah, so it's eight to six. It's actually not that bad for us. This is bad, I think. Well, we killed two of them for one. I think. Press on. Give me a speed boost. There we go. I have ult too. Nice. Malphite's getting ganked. I can save this.
Off I ult. Off I ult. Go in. Ult it. He's saving it. They don't get the plating for this, by the way. That's a terrible herald. I don't think they got the gold for that. Or he's fighting mid. I don't want to ult this really. Oh my god. Like he's pinging me to R him, but it's like I'm not ulting some guy that's just walking the lane and then just not even getting dove under turret. He's just in the middle of his lane just dying. I R that? It's like the guy just backs off. It's so hard to get a good R there. And then Ori's just probably gonna do the same thing again. Like there's no saving that guy. He's hopeless. I think we back here. I think we back. It's just sketchy. They want to gank us, I think. They're definitely doing the dragon right now. Hecarim's coming though. And Yon's mid. Deny that guy. Nice. I don't know where the jungler is. Oh, he's here. Yeah, I knew it. Got you. I can arm though. Okay, cool. It would actually be nice to go dragon here. Set up, I think. Water that guy just for, I don't know, reduce damage. Uh, he might not have died actually. I think the R scared them, but I don't know if it was necessary. Back off that. You gotta be careful here. Yeah, I don't think we need dragon. We're too low. It's just one mountain drag. Like, it's way better for us, I think. Because we have Malphite. And they do have a Shen though, so. They do get some use of it. Nice. Malphite sold the Yasuo. That's really good. Also, don't know to go. I'm thinking, like, I'm just gonna rush a Knight's Vow. Oh. Wow. Hecarim's just going ham. I really wish I'd ult here. Ult oh, would be so good. Oh, looks like this Hecarim's so fed. Dude has Cinder Hulk with almost a Triforce. And he's 7 1 now. Holy cow. Just make this cleaner. Flash probably wasn't necessary, Hecarim was gonna get this around. But I guess I also kind of denied Aphelios farm there by flashing on really early. And big play going on mid. Oh no, it's our Hecarim shut down. That's not good. Me and Jinx might be able to mop this up though. We can stop Yasuo from pushing at least. Good roaming decision. I'm really bummed they didn't hit that. Holy freaking windwall fail. Okay, yeah, we back. We, yeah. Dang, that sucks. I didn't have flash there. If I had flash, the Yasuo is dead too. He's not uber farm or anything. I mean, he's 6'5. It's not like he's got a spree though. Malphite just sold the uni. So yeah, I think this is a win. Malphite was 1'5 and then he caught back up. And he runs really well in this comp too. There's a Yasuo and a... Did I call it uni? It's a Yone? Yone? I don't know. And yeah, this is definitely a prime example where if I was on the enemy team, I would have been not playing five minutes ago. This guy wants me to run for president. Okay, I mean, do it. Holy crap, they're all dead. See, this is how you don't have a good time if you're playing on the enemy team right here. Absolutely no fun to be had. I'm gonna ignite that. Got it. I think a common misconception, and this is kind of where Riot Games is in the wrong here, is they think, well, even though the team that's getting absolutely butt blasted isn't having a whole lot of fun, the other team is just having so much fun, so it makes up for it. That's really not the case. Like, I was kind of enduring that game, as it was only the second game I've played in quite a while, but if that was like my fifth game of the day, I would have been really annoyed that the enemy team that has no chance of scaling into the late game is not just trying to FF for really early on. Alright, this game I feel like we have too much AP, and by the way, I think Zed just counterbaked himself into Vlad. Does Zed beat Vlad? I'm running into a grave scale, and so this game I'm going grasp and I'm gonna have a lot of sustain slash tankiness and this is gonna be good against a potential early game graves let's get some armor actually too this guy counterpicked me with kale which I don't really think is a counter to Teemo but I feel like the graves also got in the mindset of like I'm gonna dumpster the Teemo he's got phase rush he wants to just absolutely own me so that's what I'm going for more of a tankier build it's just kind of a thing that happens when you pick really early like I feel like their jungle slash top lane has got one goal in their mind right now and that's to absolutely dumpster the Teemo all right so I don't know what kale's actually doing here uh that's a little bit weird he pulled the wave over, which is... I don't know what that did really. I guess it's gonna get it to push towards me more? All I see is he took free damage. That's really all I'm seeing from that whole thing. What's he doing now? What is, what is that gameplay right there? 
It's like holding the wave so it's gonna push slower into his tower. Like I just am so confused. Dude, look at this champ, bro. He counterpicked me. 8 CS to 19. And he's just getting blasted on his tower. Feels freaking bad, dude. Good job, Mir. And no graves is probably yeah. That was a good ping. Holy crap. This guy's freaking Nostradamus. If you're the graves there, it's like you expect me to have a ward. You gotta expect it, right? He's gonna get his back off. I'll take a tower shot for that. Blades back, and then that's gonna give me the ability to back if I want. Apex. And I just back here. Then it's like he's got 11 CS, blew through two pots, so it's like he's got what, 8 CS? 7? I'm not sure how that works exactly, but yeah, it's not looking good for him. Good plating too while I'm at it. 55 CS to 23. I don't know where Kale's at, but I just got a plating. I don't know what he's doing. I think he might have left. Like, there's a good possibility he's gonna come back soon or he just left. Nope, he's here, but I just got two platings. So, yeah. The counter pick not doing so well for this Kale. He has six now, though. Let's see if he can duel me. Nope. Can I walk into that? Oh, man. He's dead, I think. Nice. Okay, I'm fine with that trade. Like, it wasn't a good, but it's okay recovery for the failed position I got myself into. Oh, Graves is here. And <laughs> Graves shows top, and then my jungler dies bot. Very nice. I mean, like, if I wasn't in such a free lane, I'd probably just AFK this one, but I'm getting a free lane on Teemo. Vlad's also doing pretty well, and okay, they got a kill on bot. And they die. Okay, I'm not gonna get any help for the Herald. Yep, just, where's the Hecarim? I don't know. The jungler just walks into Herald and does it. And Hecarim's like, question mark, hmm. I don't know what I could have done differently in this game. I walk bot and I die to the bot lane. Yeah, I think this one's over actually. <sighs> like, it's not over though. The thing about this game is it's gonna be a struggle and the only reason why I'm gonna play it out is for you guys. I got the plating, that's good. Holy freaking balls, dude. Now I think I just gotta go bot and then I just gotta lane those guys. Senna won't rotate either. He wants me to not push out, even though he's 1-3, just running down bottom. Yeah, this guy doesn't want to win. Too pleading, so. That's good. Let's play this. Oh, I can't zonies. You can't zonies when you're silenced or something. Interesting. Bro, this bot lane's so clueless. Like, they're pushed up to the top lane tier 2 when it's like mids pushed out. Be okay, I just don't have my zonies up. I wish I did. Good freaking ult by Hecarim. Nice. No, I don't have doubles if I do. There's no mana. I think I might be able to fight him. Who's pinging me? That's what I want to know. Hecarim? I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this game was really stressful and like, I'm not having fun. I'm just being honest, like, playing with people like this, like the Vlad has 67 farm, he's 1-3. The bot lane doesn't know how to rotate properly. The Hecarim's doing okay though. It's good on him, but yeah, overall, like, I don't know what the Vlad's doing right there. A game like this is just too stressful, I just don't feel like it's worth the uh, energy. But, for you guys, it's worth. I just don't advocate for people to play a game in this position. We have people that are basically actively trying to lose. Walks up to the dead. Just maybe a bait. Dead Jim. I got so fed and he's just walking into me. He's taking the bait, like I'm just baiting him every time. So happens when you rush armor on Teemo and you're going like grass. I don't know if I need to grasp with this build. It doesn't really feel like it scales that well. Okay, dead. No, you're not. I walked into my mushroom. What I really need this game, by the way, is a 
healing reduction of some sort, that'd be nice. But I also want to get sustained for myself, so I'm going Gumblade, which isn't probably the best play, but it could be really good for extended fights. Holy crap. I'm dead, I think. I just died for that. Do not. Save me, please. Oh my god. Santa literally just walks in their tower and kills herself. Like, it's just not fun, dude. I know it just sounds like I'm just complaining, but these players are just unfun to play with. I'm gonna hit no here because we're already too deep into the game. And like, yeah, it wouldn't be worth talking about, but the point of this video is how to have fun in League. This is not how to have fun. Like, I'm just telling you guys right now. It's like some plat three throw type of thing. Kale is just sitting here, zero mana, zero HP. Just clueless. I might kill the Lux though. Yeah, it kills the Lux, but I get the 800 gold spree on the Kale. Holy crap. That's what happens when you just leave a Kale to just free farm. Because your bot lane just runs it down the entire game. Oh, nice. He just messes up the farm. Like, notice how everyone else is just like, here, Teemo, you can have it. So then it just walks up to it, auto attacks it randomly to get to half HP so the turret can kill it. Like, if that's not actively trying to lose, I don't know what is. I do have my Gunblade though, by the way. So this might get kind of interesting. It's good, it's good. Freaking good ward, whoever ward of that. We could potentially Baron. It could be. I don't know, the Vlad's not here, so let's we'll let him farm, I guess. Nice. Nice. That was a lot of burst from Kale. That sucks that Heck died. Who's up still, Graves? Open? There's no way I got them to open. There's no way I got them to open this game. It's not possible. I mean, like, I guess their comp doesn't... Crap, I didn't get the Gunblade off. I didn't know he was going to be there even. Maybe this. I mean, he can take it, I guess. Okay, nice. I see, like, right there, the Graves ulted it. Like, notice how I said he can take it. I wouldn't have been mad if he took it. Nice. Right, well, I got my Morello, so that's really good. I'm gonna get a Sleeper too, and then we can do Baron. I'll sell my Dorans for a uh, pink. It's not good, we don't have our Vlad here. It's okay, like Vlad's splitting. Gotcha. Oh, I think I blocked that for him. It wasn't the fourth Jin ult though, it was the third only. We have Vlad's getting free farm, so okay. These guys are trying to back, but we're not letting them. I'm just gonna go for this Raka. It's a for sure kill, it should be. Maybe not. Kills here. We got oh I got the Straka even. About to kill with like Ulter or something. We got it in Heb too. Holy crap. I see that guy. Oh my god. Got dragon. I don't think anyone's gonna. Well, we might get ace here. It could be Baron. It's Baron if they get ace. Lux is still only one up right now. That was a really bad time to die, to be honest. Oh, the Vlad's still up and the minions are pushing in. Okay, we're fine. But yeah, Kale's 13 of 4 right now. Like, the dude is just insanely farmed. Yeah, Vlad's dead. He's godlike again? Oh, nice. Good catch. Holy crap, what are you doing? Nice. Fuck your freaking kill, I'm flashing out of there. I just can't die. I don't know what's going on, but I just can't die. I actually lose this game, man. This sucks. Basically, just like waiting for my team to not do something stupid. Again, not the most fun gameplay. Okay, so. Nice. Vlad's bot. 
Why is he bot? What are you doing bot? Like he's actively trying to lose. We need people here because they're ending the game. What is Vlad doing? We need to... Oh my god, they're gonna steal. Since 100% stolen. Like... Just someone go over the wall or something. We lose. What is he doing? Oh my god. Blind the kill. Blind him. This is disturbing. This is men mentally disturbing. He's disturbed. If Vlad was just there at the Baron or defending mid, like, that was fine, but man. Say he's clueless, I think would be a bit of an understatement. Oh my god. Why are you there alone? They might be dead. Wait, Kale's dead. Oh my god, I almost didn't zone you, sir. Holy crap, we win, I think. Good freaking game, holy crap. That was not a good game, by the way. I want to say good lord, but then I was like, good game came out of my mouth, which it shouldn't have. It was not a good game. I did almost more damage than Kale. We actually were pretty tied. The thing was, though, in a normal game, Kale would have been down here in damage. It's just that I had to just leave lane and then deal with the fed in Soraka, and meanwhile, she was just able to free farm. But yeah, that was absolutely not how to have fun with this game. That was how to stress yourself out. Can I just get a like or something?